Hi, it's Amy here from Diamond Dance, and today I want to share with you my favorite post backbending routine. Now, it's really important post backbending that we perform a series of ab exercises. Doing this will help us stay injury free when we're backbending, and it will also help us recover a lot better as well. So if you're one of those people who tends to get a lot of backbending doms, then make sure you add this to your post backbending routine. So today we're gonna to do three of my favorite core exercises, and we're gonna aim for about 15 of each exercise. And we're gonna start first on our back. So this exercise is called reverse crunches, and we're gonna begin by lifting our knees up to 90 degrees. I want you to turn your palms up to face the roof, and just make sure your shoulders aren't sitting up towards your ears. So we're gonna try and relax the neck. We're gonna take a nice big exhale, try and lift those hips up, and slowly lower back down. Again, lift, and slowly lower back down. Our second exercise is gonna be oblique crunches. So again, we're gonna begin on our back, and we're gonna keep our feet on the floor for this exercise. I want you to bring your fingers to your temples. We're gonna keep our elbows nice and wide, and I want you to think triple chin style. So what I mean by this is not looking down, not looking back, but we're gonna tuck our chin back, and that should just create a slight soft bit of tension through the front of the neck. Then we're gonna take a nice big exhale, tuck our tummy in, lift up, and we're gonna keep our gaze looking dead ahead, try not to look too far forward. So again, looking dead ahead, we're gonna to twist to one side, lower down, and then we're gonna repeat, alternating to the other direction. For your third exercise, we're gonna come into a plank position. So coming down to the floor, I want you to pay attention that you place your elbows so that they are directly underneath your shoulders. Stretching those legs out nice and straight, the most important thing is that we don't let our lower back arch. Instead, we gotta think about tucking our pelvis around. To do this, I'm thinking about engaging my core, so tucking my tummy in and squeezing my glutes. And it's really important in this exercise that we don't just sit here and relax, we're gonna physically create some tension throughout our muscles. So I'm squeezing my thighs, squeezing my glutes, tucking my tummy in, and then the final thing is my neck. We really gotta watch that our head doesn't bop down towards the floor. Instead, we're gonna think triple chin style and tuck that chin back so it's in line with our spine. And every time you exhale, just ensuring that we really pay attention that we're tucking that tummy muscle in. If we do find that we are struggling a little bit and your lower back is arching, or you're getting any form of lower back pain, we can simply perform this exercise with those knees down on the floor.